נוהל חניבל כנראה הופעל באיזשהו שלב, כי ברגע שהבינו שיש חטיפה... That was Israeli Colonel Nob Perez claiming the Israeli army had implemented a notorious military doctrine known as the Hannibal Protocol. In reportedly following the protocol, the Israeli army is being accused of killing Israelis and non-Israelis alike during Hamas's surprise attack on October 7th. The Hannibal Directive is one of the most controversial orders in the history of the Israeli army. It was drafted in mid-1986 by senior Israeli army officials following the capture of three Israeli soldiers by Lebanon's Hezbollah. Members of the brigade saw their comrades being taken away and therefore did not open fire. The directive was created in response to this incident to ensure that a similar event did not happen again. Standard Israeli army procedure forbids soldiers from firing in the direction of their colleagues, but the Hannibal Directive allows for this order to be suspended. The aim is to prevent Israeli troops from falling into enemy hands in order to leave no scope for negotiation, or room for Israeli soldiers to be used as bargaining chips. The Hannibal Directive was shrouded in secrecy by the Israeli army until 2003, when a letter to Haaretz by a military reservist exposed the policy. It sparked global criticism with experts raising questions about the legality of the procedure and its violations of international laws. The directive was last invoked in 2014, when on August 1st, the Israeli army killed 150 people in one day during its war on Palestine's Gaza, sparking accusations of war crimes against Israel. The policy was supposedly suspended in 2016. פה זה היה חניבל המוני, זה היה המון המון פתחים בגדר ואלפי אנשים על כל סוגי כלי הרכב למיניהם שהיו גם עם חטופים וגם בלי. יסמין פורט, who survived the kibbutz berry attacks, has also accused the Israeli army of invoking the directive. זה מנהגו מהחילופי ירי, תדעו שהיה חילופי ירי מאוד מאוד קשים. זאת אומרת, יכול להיות שכוחותינו ירו בהם? כשניסו לחסל את החוטפים, את החמאס. חיפשו את כולם, כולל הבני ערובה. The claims were reiterated by British author and journalist Jonathan Cook. The Hannibal Directive enacted at Kibbutz Biri was likely to have been applied as policy towards Israeli civilians captured by Hamas and held hostage in their own homes inside Israel. The debate around whether Israel used the Hannibal Directive comes after accounts from witnesses indicated the army's role in the high death toll at Kibbutz Biri. And reports emerged of Israeli military helicopters using artillery against civilians at the Nova Music Festival. These revelations counter the army's claims that Hamas was responsible for the deaths of approximately 1,200 Israelis. <laughs>